Hey, welcome back to Streamline Entertainment. I hope everyone's well today. Um, it's getting pretty cold in England. We've got rain and it's wet out there as well. So the video topic today is going to be Amanda Holden, um, who is a uh, British uh, TV presenter. Um, she also does shows and a lot of things on British TV for many, 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 many years. And um, and it's about um, beef with Andrew Tate. And Candice Owen, uh, who we know, um, she's got her own podcast. Um, she's quite outspoken in some of the things that she does talk about. But she's pretty straight-laced and um, I think um, pretty honest opinions uh, in assessment of her. So let's get straight into the video and then we will comment as we go. You know, I took... And I actually would say that I am still taking a lot of flack uh, for having gone and interviewed Andrew Tate and trying to understand closely the phenomena of Andrew Tate. You know, he has amassed an audience, millions and millions of men follow him. And of course, the media take is that he's a toxic, masculine man who is making men treat women terribly. Look, um, what I know of Andrew Tate on a business sense um was this is only on a business sense was quite um inspirational uh in to keep going to to uh never give up uh to uh, um acknowledge about sometimes boy you go wrong in business at the end of the day um loving yourself self-satisfaction as a man which is brilliant to hear um i have said in many of my videos at the end of the day some of the stuff he said in the past about women pretty low the bell um pretty avoid it and it's stuff that i don't agree with i like andrew i think he's um a, a good businessman at the end of the day but some of the stuff he does say um not everyone takes it with a pinch of salt that's that matter and so when I saw this headline, I was keen to say, to see what it was that Andrew Tate said that was so bad. Uh, the headline ran on the Daily Mail. It says, Amanda Holden, 52, breaks her silence on Andrew Tate's controversial criticism of her racy snaps and re reveals why she refuses to retaliate, right? So immediately a headline like that, you go, a Amanda Holden is a victim. Andrew Tate has done something horrible to her and she is taking the high road by not even retaliating and they have the Look, we know Amanda Holden sometimes flaunts what she's got. She does look incredible for her age. Um, at the end of the day, there's obviously something like she's not doing. I'm not gonna comment on it. Um, at the end of the day, if she's happy with her body and happy to flaunt it and put it on pictures and newspapers, then um, that's up to her. This picture of her in a bikini and she looks really sexy. And the entire way that this article was written was really interesting because they were trying to already make you hate Andrew Tate before they even got to what it was that he said that was so controversial that she was taking the high road and refusing to retaliate. It says here, in July, the Heart FN pre presenter, 52 years old, tweeted a racy image of herself enjoying a poolside shower in a sexy black bikini, igniting a vile response from the former Big Brother contestant who's dubbed the king of toxic masculinity. So when journalists do this, they're already implanting into your head how you are supposed to think of this, that what he has done is already vile before we even tell you what he has said. And he is the king of toxic masculinity. He is bad, she is great, got it. So what did Andrew Tate say? He said to this 52 year old woman who is married with children, you are a wife and a mother and you're far past a teenager. There is no need for this post. <laughs> That's all he said. Look, um, it's up to her what she does, but on the other side of the coin, you have to remember she is 52 years of um, age at the end of the day. I mean, she was in a bikini um, at the end of the day. I, you know, it wasn't a, I was, you know, it wasn't revealing, revealing bikini. You get those really sort of skimpy bikinis. It wasn't that. At the end of the day, do you know what I mean? Look, she likes doing it. Um, she's been doing it for quite some time now, and it's entirely up to here, up to her. I, I don't really 
sort of judge people in what they do. Ness is bad at the end of the day. Um, unless they're abusing uh, people, unless they're abusing children. If she wants to flaunt her stuff, then then, then flaunt it. I wouldn't um, com comment on it. I've known about Amanda Holden um, for years at the end of the day. And like I said, she seems a pretty good person at the end of the day. Andrew Tate, uh, can I say, is uh, basically entitled um, to his comments. But in my, in my sense, I probably wouldn't have said nothing at the end of the day. But Andrew Tate is one, he's pretty vocal and he says what he thinks. Didn't call her a bitch, didn't call her a hoe, didn't speak down to her. He basically called her exactly what she is. A wife, check, true. A mother, check, true. Uh, not a teenager, check, true. No need for this post, check, true. Nothing happened here. Nothing happened to her. But again, as we just spoke about, there is, there are all sorts of media agendas, and one of them is to make women think that there is empowerment in nudity, and that somehow it is makes you cooler or somehow more relevant if you're constantly naked on the internet. And this is, uh, you know, what what I think is at the end of the day, um, she's a household, old school star. She's still showing what she's got at the end of the day. She knows she's attractive. And maybe she puts her out there to say, hey, look, you can look this good at 50. I know she's got money. We know that she's pretty famous, especially in the UK at the end of the day. It is what it is. I mean, I understand uh, Candice Owen um, saying that Andrew Tate only said that and the, um, the tabloid have got it in for him anyway. So um, he's not going to win either way. You know, take it on. You know, sometimes you have to take things on the, on the chin actually been an ideology but i speak out against often and not because of andrew tate because it has been crucial for me to let young women know that being this way does not make you happy it doesn't make you happy they are they are lying to you this is just a media simulation that women should constantly be taking their clothes off you know a lot of these women end up alone and unhappy so he says this to her and the media jumps to her side because how dare he criticize her while she's wearing a bikini and what i found to be particularly interesting is what she said back. She said, honestly, I had another shot of me in a bikini with just a close up of my bum. I was tempted to post with the caption, kiss my 52 year old arse. But you know, something like that is just gonna go on and on and in the end, why give him oxygen? She insisted that she only dresses for herself and no one else. And isn't that the truth? Fair enough. Fair enough. If she wants to do that, um, then do that at the end of the day. And fair play to her for not re re retaliate, retaliating at the end of the day. I, I look at it, I can see both Amanda Holden's point of view and Andrew Tate's uh, point of view at the end of the day. And I like them both. So I think the, the thing is, yeah, is that if I was Andrew, me and myself, I probably wouldn't have said nothing at the end of the day, even if I had a, um, had a point at the end of the day because we live in a culture of narcissism. That's supposed to be empowering. She's dressing for her. She's being sexy for her. Never mind the fact that she has an 11 year old child at home. Never mind the fact that she is also a mother to a 17 year old daughter. It's about her and how she feels and what she wants to do every single day. Because again, we live in a largely selfish culture. Nobody is selfless. Nobody thinks about their kids for. It is, uh, we, we sadly live in it. I can understand what Candice uh, Owens is saying here. We do live in a, um, a selfish, system at the present moment and you know if you're rich and famous at the end of the day amanda likes to look good she likes good clothes she likes dressing well she likes showing off her body at the end of the day she, you know but look it's just one of those things at the end of the day i don't know why sometimes things are taken out of proportion taken out of context at the end of the day and made bigger than what it was and you know the news stepping in and saying um, bad titles about uh, Andrew Tate. We know Andrew's um, said bad things in the past, and he's held, said sorry, held his hand up for it. Nobody's perfect uh, at the end of the day, but I do think sometimes the tabloids um, make things a lot bigger than what they are, but I suppose they just do it for world news as well. Or someone thinks about their husband, whether or not they're respecting their husband. It's all about you, 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 me, me, me. 
And if somebody dare says, hey, have you ever considered that you are leading a family? Have you ever considered that you are the matriarch of a family? Have you ever considered that your daughters are looking to you as an example, that your husband wants to be respected? Then you're supposed to snap back and say, well, I was going to act. I actually have a picture of my bum and my arse and I was going to put it on the Internet and I might do it next time. Yeah, it's a sad way to be when you're 52 years old. In conclusion, Andrew Tate was right. All right, if you like this video, you are definitely going to like the full episode even better. You can find it by clicking right here. Um, I would probably say uh, myself that, um, uh, you know, I have a daughter at the end of the day. And, you know, she has another. I think the older you get, excuse me. The older you get, I think you have to um, look at what people think of you. But sometimes when you're famous and you've got a great body like she does, she does she's going to show it and she has done for many years. And I don't think there's anything wrong in that. Um, let me know your views on it. And don't forget to subscribe to Streamline uh, Entertainment. And thank you for the old subscribers and, of course, the new subscribers. Take care of yourself wherever you are in the world.